Yo, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to us for the Action Channel. Of course, we're back for another reaction. Now, today we are back with another Dax reaction. And today, this Dax reaction is featuring none other than Sir Thomas McDonald. Tom McDonald, that is right. Dax and Tom McDonald is back again. I fucking love this dude. <laughs> I've been listening to Dax since I believe the end of 2018. I've been listening to Tom since I believe mid to late 2019. So I've been listening to both these guys for a long fucking time now, a good couple years. And I love whenever they collab, every single collab they've done, they've spoken facts. And they've made a back. And I think this is going to be it. I just reacted to Tom McDonald's uh, Goodbye Joe feature Nova Rockefeller. I was very late to that. Obviously the whole presidential debate is over but now we get on the dax is one with tom mcdonald we're gonna see what they're gonna do it is called soldier but before we get into it y'all already know the drill if y'all been here before hope y'all have an amazing day if you're not switch i share the fuck around start have an amazing day always trying to spread positive vibes entertain have fun on this channel because that's what it's all about it's all about the fun and the vibes now remember if y'all fuck with a vibe like comment and subscribe links up here and down below you want vlogs IRL content on the speed of vlogs you want gamer content on the speed of gamer you want twitch tiktok instagram all up here and down below easy to access just for you if you want to see me do more than just react but yes sir dax tom mcdonald soldier what y'all got in the chamber <laughs> Why are they burning the time? Okay. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I like the theater. Yep. I'm a Hang on, hang on Dax, hang on Dax, before you start going fucking crazy here, before you start going fucking crazy. I love that part right there that goes, I know what it's like to walk through the rain, I know what it's like to feel the pain, to feel the depression and anxiety that you're facing, but you have to kind of put it all in the back of your mind, suck it up a little bit, and continue to go to war because you're a soldier, and I think this is going to be him and Tom touching on what I actually spoke about. A little bit in my reaction to Tom, like goodbye Joe, which was respecting soldiers who fight for the freedom of your country, regardless of what country you are, because at the end of the day, they either don't make it back, they make it back with a very serious, serious, serious fucking I can't speak, serious physical disability, mental disability, or they have really bad PTSD and. You know, they, they will never be the same and they fought for your freedom. So they put their life in line. They possibly ruined their life to free you. So I feel like that's what they're going to speak on. So that whole thing about the depression is that about having to put it to the back 100%. He's touched on it before and he's right. 42. I know how it feels to be caught in the rain. Going to war in your brain when depression is staring you right in the face and anxiety is grabbing you, making you shake. But there's people depending on you to be great. Yep. So you hide all the feelings and push them away. It's too hard trying to mix it all with the pain. I'm drinking the cool off and it's all in my veins. I'm making these new songs to move on to restrain. From grabbing the salt off and going to cock it and aim at these nuanced and nuanced and people who shame. The role that a man has to play as a husband, a father, a brother, a son to a servant, protecting his family. Mm. They laugh in your face when you try to explain or express. Then tell you they love you without any loyalty, patience, or face respect. Then expect you to smile every day while I'm eating your mind and your soul Get flesh and you work and you wither away to the day that you can And you're broken and nothing is left in your world and you can't even Mmm Okay, so Dax is also touching on not just being a physical soldier But also being a soldier as a man um, where he's turning around and saying, you know, you, you got to protect your wife, you got to protect your kids, you got to protect your house, you got to have all these things, you got to make the money, you got to provide, that is your job. You got to protect everyone, you got to provide for them all, you got to make sure that every asset that you, that they need is there for them, that's your job. If you don't do that, you failed, you're not allowed to show your emotion, you're not allowed to be depressed, anxious, sad. If it's 6 a.m., if, if your kids got to go to school at 9 a.m., and you wake up at 6 and you feel depressed, 
too bad you're gonna have to get up anyway and obviously both parents have to do that but as a, i feel like as a man you used to have that the, the pressure on your shoulders where you kind of is like i have to suck it up and get on foot which obviously isn't the right mindset but that's what dex is talking about right there um a okay okay the role that a man has to play as a husband, a father, a brother, a son to a servant, protecting his family's name. Yep. They laugh in your face when you try to explain or express. Then tell you they love you without any loyalty, patience, or basic respect. They tell you they love you without any loyalty or basic respect. They tell you they love you, but they don't have any loyalty properly to you or any basic respect. Because whenever you try to explain your feelings, they'll laugh at you. Then expect you to smile every day while I'm teaching your mind and your soul get flesh. Yep. Or can you wither away to the day that you can and you're broken and nothing is left. They expect you to smile. <sighs> Fuck now, bags. They expect you to smile through the pain while it eats you away. They expect you to smile through the pain while it literally mentally eats you away until the day that you're broken and nothing is left. So no matter what you're going through up here, they expect you to suck it up and smile through it. And just put on the smile, fake smile, and just get on with it until the day that literally you're completely broken and there's nothing left because you've held it in so long it's just completely broke you down. <sighs> Fucking hell, Dex. This music video is sick. Got budget. Sorry, it's the way Dom is to give it a go. My pronouns is he, him, his. Like, <laughs> he said my pronouns is he, him, his. My job is to feed these kids. So he's speaking on serious topics. But you know Tom, he's also taking the piss whenever he uses my pronouns as he, him, his. You know he's taking a job at those pronouns. And he's taking the piss. But he's also saying the job is to feed those kids. So he's like non-serious. But he is serious. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Tom, man. Fuck's sake. <laughs> 45. I'm a soldier. My pronouns are he, him, his. My job is to feed these kids. Yep. Be strong, keep feelings within. My yep. papa taught me to protect the weaker man. Ain't what he got him, man. It's what he gives. And when he gives it all, then it still ain't enough. And he's the one to blame, and no one gives a shit. I like that part. A man ain't what he got, it's what he gives. You always say con you always hear constantly like Dex speaks about it. A man is there to provide. You know, that is what we feel like we have to do. If we can't provide, we feel useless. It's not about what we have, it's about what we give. We are basically judged on how much we provide for you. If we don't provide shit, then we're viewed as we ain't shit. And when we die, we ain't providing anymore. You're useless. <laughs> That's kinda how it's viewed. That's kinda how we feel at least. <laughs> so Job is to feed these kids. Yep. Be strong, keep feelings within. My papa taught me to protect the weaker man. Ain't what he got a man is what he gives, and when he gives it all, then it still ain't enough. And he's the one to blame, and no one gives a shit. Mm. I leave a man behind. We all crack and break within the hands of time. I got an axe to grind. With anybody trying to identify as a guy, if their chromosomes ain't X Y, you would never understand what it's like for a man. Gotta fight with your hands, wanna cry, but you can if it's right for the fam. You will tighten your pants, provide a romance, you would die where you stand. Sorry, the camera messed up there a little bit. Um, no, that part right there, whatever he says, is, man, you fight with your hands, you want to cry, but you can't. Like, you got to fight with your hands, you got to go out, you got to do the hard work, you got to fight with your hands. You want to cry, but you can't because you're not allowed to show emotion. You have to bowl it all up inside. And he turns around and says that you don't know what it feels like. And then what, what was that last little part right there? Two we gotta ask for grind with anybody trying to identify as a guy if their chromosomes ain't X Y. You would never understand what it's like for a man. Gotta fight with your hands, wanna cry, but you can if it's right for the fam. You will tighten your pants, provide a romance, you would die where you stand. If it's right for the fam, you will tighten your pants. So you'll you'll basically you'll put your trousers on, you'll continue to go. And then he turns around and says you will die where you stand. So if it's right for the family, you'll you'll put your trousers up, you'll get on foot. You'll just tighten your trousers, you'll get fucking on with it because you're like, right, this is what it's got to be. This is what they need to survive, and that's what I got to provide, so that's what I'll do. And then he turns around and says, you will die where you stand because, man, you got to stand on business. You got to stand on your morals. 
and what's going to protect them. If someone's gonna sh- if someone's gonna fire a bullet their direction, you have to jump in front. That's kind of that's kind of how it is, you know. Ugh. Okay, Tom. Gotta be a bigger man when it's problems. Get judged by the money in your wallet. It's mm. our fault. Let's be honest. We built a world that labeled us toxic. We gotta lean and teach and keep the peace and fight the fires and be police. When a man gets tired, he don't lay down to sleep. He take all the heat, don't complain over no trees. Cold yep. world and it's hard times, and our children inherit the land. If you think that being a boy is just picking a pronoun, you should try being a dad. You can build all the houses and fix all the cars and work till you're breaking your back. But the hardest job in the world, being a man. I'm a soldier. Okay, I know that line right there. It's gonna be a controversial one where he said the hardest job in the world is being a man. <laughs> I want to explain what I believe he means. You know, <laughs> no, Tom. Obviously, Dax has made things in the past to be a man, all this and that. He's made a lot of ones where he's turning going. This was like to be a man. It's struggle, blah blah. Whenever Tom says that, I don't believe that's him saying, you know, it's harder to be a man than it is to be a woman. It's not what I think he's saying. What I think he's saying is the hardest job in the world mentally is to be a man. And this is my personal opinion. If you disagree in the comments, that's up to you. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. I think it's physically harder to be a woman and mentally harder to be a man. Naturally. Obviously not bringing in if there's something wrong, whatever, but naturally. And the point for that is, as a man, you have to compress everything. You have to suck it up. You have to get on with it. You have to everything that's wrong. But as a woman, you got to deal with the, the periods, the the pregnancy, all these different things. So I feel like, you know, I don't think Tom means that in the case of, oh, yeah, no, it's harder than this. But I think he's meaning it in the terms of this is the hardest job mentally to carry, you know, because... You gotta, you, you gotta be switched on 24-7, no breaks, you can't do it, if you feel like shit, you can't phone in sick to work, you gotta suck it up, you gotta get up, you gotta go to work, because you gotta provide, that's your job, you know, that's your job, this camera keeps messing up, man, sorry, no, yeah, I just wanted to explain that, because I feel like a lot of people are gonna, I feel like you can take it a million different ways, and that's just my perception of it, that's what I believe he means when he says it, because, <sighs> Yeah, I just believe that's what he means when he says it, you know what I mean? Like, it is it is a difficult job. <laughs> it's a difficult job to be anyone in this fucking world at this point. It's our fault, let's be honest. We built a world that labeled us toxic. We gotta lean and teach and keep the peace and fight the fires and be police. When a man gets tired, he don't lay down to sleep. He take all the heat, don't complain over no trees. Cold world and it's hard times, and our children inherit the land. If you think that being a boy is just picking a pronoun, you should try being a dad. You can build all the houses and fix all the cars and work till you're breaking your back. But the hardest job in the world, being a man. I'm a soldier. This is exactly what the fuck I was talking about. Dax has touched on the past, and I just fucking mentioned. Literally, obviously, you have the whole war. Them going to war, them shooting each other, killing each other, blah, blah, blah. And then, it literally shows you the medals, and the empty alcohol bottle, the whiskey bottle, whatever it is. And then it switches to Dax. He's sitting there, sitting at home. Obviously, I'll call him. He got his medals. And he turns around and says about putting on a cape, but having to fight. And it's basically, as I said before, the way soldiers have to deal with. If they come back in one piece, physically in one piece, they'll have that PTSD. They'll have all these things. They're like they've seen some shit. They've they've had to put the pressure on. They will not come back one hundred percent because you can't come back one hundred percent after seeing that shit. There's nothing you can do to make yourself one hundred percent. So this is his literal. This is his chance to show. Okay. I went out, I done that, I fought for everyone's freedom, cool. Now I gotta deal with this, because this is fucked up because of that. 
a only people like only soldiers men and women will understand that i can't imagine what to go for all due respect to him free battling feelings i can't even show weight of the world on my shoulders is crushing me people around me they don't even know i put on this case and go save everybody while i'm being shattered and all of my bones take on the pressure of being the hero who saves but has no one to help with his own demons inside me try to eat him alive i'm going insane and when i'm out of my mind i look at the stars and talk to god in the sky i wait on his words but i don't get a reply i try to refrain from diving deep so i hold back tears that try to come out my eyes in this world is a man where we know we can't cry because the people we love looking us to confide Silently screaming for help. Life is a battle inside of these trenches, especially when fighting it all by yourself. PTSD from the memories, people who left you for dead and then drug you through hell, leaving you shot deep inside of a shell with stories you hate but nobody to tell. Why you question God if you're so soldier? Oh, poor right there that says that about the trenches being hell when you're fighting it yourself. Okay, I want to hear that little part again. Fuck. I don't get a reply. I try to refrain from diving deep, so I hold back tears that try to come out my eyes. And this world is a man where we know we can't cry because the people we love look at us to confide. So I'm silently screaming for help. Life is a battle inside of these trenches, especially when fighting it all by yourself. I'm silently screaming for help because you can't physically scream for help because that's not manly. So you gotta silently scream for help. And he turns around and says that life is a battle inside these trenches. You know, the, you, life is a battle because you can't scream physically, you gotta scream inside, which obviously fucks this place up, because you can't do it, and that stays too stuck in the trenches. As he said, you gotta provide, you, you can't do all this, you ain't got time to do that. That's cutting your time to provide. PTSD from the memories, people who left you for dead and then drug you through hell, leaving you shot deep inside of a shell, with stories you hate but nobody to tell, why you question God if you're so I'm a soldier. who have served and sacrificed their lives. Amen. I wonder, I'm assuming all the people involved in that video was just actors, like, like, I, f I assume they were just all actors, but no one dax and told me. I'm just like, was any of them actual, like, veterans or people who are currently within the military in America? Because that would be fucking sick. Because obviously this song is for them. That would be very cool if they were some involved, but I don't really know. It didn't really say, but that would be very cool. Hey, this video's been long enough. It's like 20 minutes, so I'm a, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Dax and Tom absolutely killed that shit. They went over everything. Obviously, they touched on people going to war, but then they also touched on just being a man overall in general and having to be a soldier. But I like the part whenever, obviously, it switched and Dax was talking about soldiers after the war and the PTSD and all the things that they have to deal with. You know, I like the way they touched on both a normal man, but also someone who goes to war and all that. And it's shone the light and it turned around and said, hey, this is for the soldiers. This is the people that fight for the freedom. Because, obviously, Tom fights for free speech. Dax fights for free speech. But at the end of the day, you are free to do that because of the soldiers. So all due respect to them, regardless of what country you're a part of. But, hey, Dax and Tom absolutely killed that shit. Obviously, again, respect to the soldiers, everybody else. But, hey. I enjoyed that. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. I really would appreciate it. Hope you all have an amazing day. Hope you all stand safe and I hope you all are thinking positive. But without further ado, this was another reaction. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. <laughs>